Good morning, good morning. <laughs> good morning, you guys. See if we can get people in the live feed. Good morning to you guys. How's everybody doing? I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News and America's Voice News. God bless everybody that is watching. God bless my country of Mexico, my city of Tijuana, and God bless the United States of America. Let's thank God for giving us two legs, two arms, a mind that we can think, a heart that we can feel, and eyes that we can see. Uh, good morning from Yuma, Arizona. Good morning from Yuma, Arizona. I want to uh, do a public statement uh, and say thank you to Sheriff Wilmot from Yuma County. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for... Uh, your, uh, you know, just everything that you just, uh, you've done for us. Uh, you're a wonderful person and you're a wonderful human being. Uh, if you guys want to go and watch an interview that I did with Sheriff Wilmot of Yuma County, go to my YouTube channels. I was live yesterday at YouTube, I believe so, when I was doing an interview with Sheriff Wilmot of Yuma County. Uh, amazing stuff that we have seen uh today and yesterday uh don't miss today uh the war room with steve bannon as uh my co our colleague ben berquam and myself oscar blue we will be uh on the war room with steve bannon uh you know a little bit uh between nine and ten o'clock in the morning between those hours we will be there live with steve bannon at between nine and ten o'clock uh, you know, a recap of what we've seen yesterday and what we seem seen uh, today. Yesterday, as we arrived, like right in the moment that we arrived, a family was crossing over around 10 to 15 people. The problem right here is the children. It is so sad to see so many children being hauled in through these caravans or in through this irregular migration. And as you were hearing Sheriff Wilmot, he's talking about 3,500 children, 35,000 children that they have been registered in entering uh, from past uh, uh, from November of 2020 till now. It's just a humongous number. The child trafficking business and the human smuggling business and the human, uh, the child smuggling business, uh, it is just absolutely amazing. It is just horrible what is happening. Yuma has been, and also Arbaca, Ajo, Arizona, and now this part of Yuma has been one of the places where they are extremely pulling the child trafficking business like you don't even imagine. And we took the risk on going uh, to Algodones uh, yesterday. And as we went to Algodones uh, yesterday, we were uh, in the other side where they were coming in. And amazingly, as we got there, uh, as we got there, amazingly, as we got there, the police, the municipal police and the Institute National of Immigration, the Border Patrol, they were on uh, on pursuit to kit, to capture the two, one of the two organizers from that particular side. And the Border Patrol risk, the Mexican Border Patrol risking their lives going after, you know, uh, the organizers of all this irregular migration on, on the part of Algodones. This is not the correct way to migrate. I'm not a border patrol agent. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a, uh, an immigration officer. I don't dictate whether it is okay, whether it's not. 
and everybody's uh there was a couple of comments that they were saying uh oscar's saying uh everybody's entitled to migrate yes you're absolute you're an absolute ignorant person if you don't understand that everybody has the right to migrate and if i say that everybody knows that everybody has the right to migrate correctly documented under the law and with peacefully and with a purpose yes everybody has the right to migrate under under circumstances and under and under uh, these assumptions if you have the right to migrate but under that that is incorrect that is not a that is not a correct way to migrate to another country just get it through your head understand two things you know you need to understand that that a right to migrate, yes, it is, but you have to do it legally, documented, and with a purpose. This is not a correct way to migrate. Putting your children through this trauma, on this travesty, and looking at that, and we were watching it from the other side. We went to the to my country of Mexico, and on the side of Algodones in Sonora, we were watching all this happening in front of our eyes as the Mexican Border Patrol was on pursuit. You know, organizers from the top watching uh you know 15 around 15 individuals they were arrested right there because they don't have no documents that they cross through our country of mexico and migrated all the way to the north legally uh it is just a hot zone it's really a hot zone right there and it is just incorrect that they are letting this happen it's just unbelievable I believe strongly that the border patrol, the Mexican border patrol did something because it was so ridiculous yesterday. It was just so ridiculous. And you guys that <laughs> we recorded just a little bit. What happens there on the whole day? It is just amazing. It's just unbelievable. And what Sheriff Wilmot, he did a statement on my live feed and he did a statement also uh, you know, on Ben Berquam's live feed that has, it's a clear statement of what has happened. It is huge. He said, the Border Patrol has become the Uber for the organized crime in Mexico. And that is huge because you, you analyze what he's saying, you know, a sheriff of Yuma County, and you try to understand what he's saying. And like the Uber for the Border Patrol, like, yes, he said, when you got the Democratic Party or the left or the globalists pushing this narrative of irregular migration, you're incentivizing the un the organized crime and the other side of my country, that is my country of Mexico. And you're incentivizing them to say this is okay. So you're giving them jobs. And then after that, you're providing <laughs> a ride for all these people to a county where they're gonna be processed. So in a way, when he says the Border Patrol has become an Uber for the organized crime in Mexico, it is a fact. It is a reality because they're the ones that they're driving them back and forth. And it's just amazing how these statements are so humongous and they're so big that nobody puts attention to this, but it's actually a reality. So be sure to be watching. Uh, uh, be sure to be watching uh, today as we are going to be live with uh, Steve Bannon in the war room in a few minutes. I'm going to drink a coffee. You guys know that I always, I can't function without my coffee in the morning. Saludos, Señora Jackie Gigi Dawson. I can't function in the morning. And also, I want to add that some one of our followers from Yuma, and I I don't know if he's here. Uh, but his name is Alan. Uh, one of our followers from Yuma came to the spot where we were yesterday. And it was so nice uh, to see one of our, uh, you know, Border Network News followers. He follows Anthony. He follows me. And he came all the way to the site where I was at. And, you know, we shook hands, big hug. And it's a pleasure to meet you, man. You, you know, you're doing a good job. And I said, you know, thank you so much uh for you know for following me and sharing my news and i just i just want to thank you guys the followers and our friends uh you know for sharing our news uh you know we met uh sarah carter also from fox news she's a phenomenal lady uh and you know we had a conversations with with a hey, big dog alan martin you it was great to see you man great to know you and it was great to say hi to you big dog thank you so much for uh 
for going yesterday over there, man. It was really nice to see you. And uh, it was really nice to meet uh, Miss Sarah Carter, that she is an uh, incredible human being, incredible lady uh, from Fox News. Also, you know, we met somebody else uh, that later on, possibly we're going to work in Tijuana. Uh, and it was amazing to see all that. But ultimately, the person that I that I take away from this all this is Sheriff Wilmot from Yuma County. Sheriff Wilmot from Yuma County uh, is an incredible man, really. I, I I was so taken by his experience. He's a really a humanitarian, and he helps all these families, and he helps all these children. He says that it's it's just sad to see all these children being hauled by the organized crime on the other side. And they don't care about their lives as they are coming in to our country. They forget about their lives. They just don't care. And it was it's just a hot zone right there. Really, it is a hot zone. Uh, and it's just, uh, it was just, you know, it's it, to go to Algodones and to broadcast that from the other side and to actually been, be there at the moment where there's a, a migrant pursuit or an irregular pursuit by the INAMI, by the Mexican, you know, National Border Patrol authorities, it's actually, it's, it's unbelievable footage. Me and Ben, were, Ben and I were discussing it yesterday and we were like, man, bro, that was, he's like, yeah, that's fire. That's just fire. So it's just uh, important for you guys to keep watching as we are, you know, showing you how it's not the irregular migration it is a crisis at the border. It is a humongous crisis that is provoked by the globalist compact of immigration, that it was signed by the 154 countries. Mexico signed it, Canada signed it, and potentially the United States is going to sign it under the Biden administration on this year. You know, it's potentially going to sign it. So, you know, uh, be sure to be watching as we're going to go live right now, uh, in a few uh, moments, we're going to go live in uh, the war room with Steve Bannon. Uh, God bless you all. Follow my partner, Real Anthony Aguero. You can follow him at Orbeez, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Parlor, uh, his channel and Telegram. Also, you can follow Ben Berquam at Frontline America with Ben Berquam, uh, Real America's Voice News. You can go to Rumble. Uh, and watch us over there in Real, Real America's Voice News. And also, uh, you can you know you can follow him, Ben Berquam, at uh, uh, Instagram. He has Instagram, and he has uh, he has also uh, Twitter. I think he has Twitter. Also, you can follow Sarah Carter. You can follow her. Uh, you know you you know her social media. And also, you can follow me as Oscar L Blue. You can follow me as uh, you know Oscar L Blue at Facebook, YouTube. Subscribe to my channel at YouTube. And also Instagram. <clears throat> I'm on Instagram now. <laughs> and also you can follow, uh, you know, you can follow me at my channel and Telegram. Also follow Primetime Patriots, Kaylee, Suni, and Blake. Uh, thank you so much. Be sure to, to watch us in a few moments at the War Room with Steve Bannon. God bless you all. Stay safe. And like we always say, people, peace and love. Because always, your country's first. God bless.